It's a sad day in Cougar Land. He is best known for leading the Phi Slamma Jamma teams of the 80s at the University of Houston. Now, players and fans are remembering the life of Guy Lewis. The Hall of Fame coach passed away today at the age of 93. Channel 2 Sports Director Randy McAvoy joins us now with more on Lewis's life and the legacy that he leaves behind. Absolutely. One of the great coaches in the game, a father figure to many in the Cougars family. I wore this red tie, and it's on Thanksgiving, too, but in honor of Guy V. Lewis. As a kid growing up here in Houston, I was a fixture at U of H Phi Slamma Jamma games watching Guy Lewis. Lewis worked the sidelines and won a lot of basketball games. As a journalist, I was honored to spend just a little bit of time with the Hall of Famer as well. And tonight, the U of H family and friends are celebrating his life and career. Guy V. Lewis was a transcendent basketball coach at the University of Houston. Over the span of three decades, Lewis won 592 games, coached 15 All-Americans, and broke racial barriers that changed the game. During that 68 season, the number two ranked Cougs played number one UCLA in a matchup that was dubbed the Game of the Century. It was the first college basketball game broadcasted nationally during prime time. But even with the airtime, more than 52,000 fans packed the Astrodome to watch Guy Lewis and U of H take on a Bruins team that hadn't lost in two and a half seasons. When the final buzzer sounded, the Cougs stunned the legendary duo of coach John Wooden and star center Lou Alcindor, 71-69. In the 1980s, a new brand of basketball was born at Hallfine's Pavilion. Lewis founded the tallest fraternity in the state of Texas, Phi Slamma Jamma. It was playground basketball that featured an up-tempo offense led by future Pro Basketball Hall of Famers Clyde Drexler and Akeem Olajuwon. Lewis and the Cougs went to three straight Final Fours from 1982 to 1984. In the 1983 National Championship game, the Cougars lost to North Carolina State on a last-second dunk that became an iconic moment in the history of college basketball. Led by Olajuwon, Lewis's team returned to the National Championship in 1984, only to be ousted by Patrick Ewing and the Georgetown Hoyas. Guy V. Lewis retired from coaching in 1986, finishing with 592 wins, all with the University of Houston. Lewis's name will forever be remembered at U of H. His name is on the court at Hallfines Pavilion, along with the Cougars' new practice facility. Details on his funeral service have yet to be finalized by his family. Passing of Guy V. Lewis, again, one of the legends in all of college basketball history, and uh, left his imprint on that program, to say the least. No, he did. He's and a lot of individuals as yeah, well. Yeah, he sure did. Oh, wow, great coach, great man. Absolutely.